Hello, this is Tijuana Nurse TJ, and today is September the 25th, 2021, and I'm here in Atlanta. Um, this is my uh, second Airbnb for my travel nursing, and um, I'm just excited because I am really enjoying um, the whole, um, how, what they're, the difference, you know, for this whole travel nursing thing. Um, this Airbnb looks a lot nicer, however, um, it's it's not as nice. The, the building isn't kept up as nicely as the other one was. Um, this one's a little um, kind of dingy on the, on the grungy side, um, but um, yeah. That's what happens when you're in a big city because there's a lot of, um, you know, stuff on the outside and um but you know they charge you up a lot so i'm gonna um show y'all some clips of the unit when i got here um there was a few things that like the reason why i won't be booking here again um with the airbnbs um some you know these are personal businesses so it's not like it's a, a big company however some people do have multiple airbnbs which i'm excited because um I want to buy a property in uh, Montgomery that's really close to the Air Force Base and start an Airbnb um, business. It's a very lucrative business um, and it's a good, you know, home business for, you know, anybody could do. However, some people are not really good at it. Like I think this one, it feels, it feels like it's somebody's apartment, like, um, you know, the kitchen is full of food in the refrigerator like i just opened it the one y'all see on the video and then closed it back and i haven't done anything up in there because i don't feel comfortable it's not i mean it's like it's it's like somebody's house with you know food that's open and um you know stuff in there so i i don't feel you know like i was in the other one where i was cooking you know it looked like it was an actual you know a unit that was made for that. It wasn't like, I didn't feel like somebody actually lived there. I felt like it was just guests coming to, you know, stay at the Airbnb. Not here, it feels like this is really, you know, somebody's apartment. Like, so, um, and the only reason why I didn't make a big stink or leave or, you know, try and find another spot is because um, you know, as soon as I got here, it was my night to work and I was doing a lot of stuff. Um, got a colonics. I should have videotaped that. <laughs> yeah. Um, a colonics and some, uh, ion foot cleanse and I'm, tr you know, trying to detox and do the right thing. But anyway, um, the money <laughs> is tremendous. I've never, uh, earned, generate this amount of money before in my, uh, my entire life. So, um, grateful for the crisis and grateful for COVID and all that good stuff because it's been a very wealthy year for um, nurses all around. Even, you know, um, facilities are giving their own staff nurses, you know, bonuses, an extra 50 bucks an hour on top of their, um, you know, rates. So um, now, it's a, you know, it's a great time to be a travel nurse. Get your um, multi-state license and you can, you know, move and groove wherever you want to go. Um, so I'm gonna give you some clips of the apartment and this is more kind of a like a lifestyle. Um, like I said, the, the apartment is great, it looks great. It's just that um, it doesn't look like it was freshly clean. Like, you know, it took housekeeping to come. It looks like, you know, whoever has it, you know, keeps the place up, you know, or, or they're organized, but it's dusty and like I said, that refrigerator with all the fingerprints on it and the food off up in there was not a <laughs> I just I, I was not happy with that into it okay so first impressions very very pretty and here it's my next Airbnb <laughs> I guess really somebody's 
Read the part, please. Food on the table. Um, okay, so. There's actually two bathrooms in here. There's one. Okay, so the one good thing about this spot is that it's right over this nice little um, breakfast at Barney's, Barney's Breakfast, or Breakfast at Breakfast, Brick, Breakfast at Barney's, which is a nice little um, kind of a upscale breakfast bar. They serve breakfast and brunch from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, every day. So that's been exciting, and they've got some pretty good food there um today you know my second morning there i got food there and i'll show y'all a couple of clips from there and uh, but, that, but that's about it and, and like i said the place is this place is very nice and nicely decorated <laughs> decorated but um if you're going to start an airbnb business got to be a little bit more in tune with like as far as like when people check out there needs to, you need to have like real housekeepers people that's going to actually like wipe off all of the surfaces because things you know like here's this beautiful little chandelier but there's no light bulb in there <laughs> so i mean just a little thing like that if if i hadn't you know working you know we work 12 hours um and you know if i you know i would would have probably complained or you know maybe not been this happy, but since I'm just basically coming here to um, take a shower <laughs> and sleep and go back to work, um, kind of letting it slide. And like I said, um, I already had those, the first earlier, you know, with the negative thing with the uh, Airbnb. At least this one was safe um, and it was parking you know, those kind of things. So I'm just kind of letting it slide. But um, next week, I'm going to be going back <laughs> to um, the one with the little pretty little yellow couch. They gave good service and their customer service was good. You know, they were efficient. I got lots of messages and the check-in was easy. They had made YouTube video, you know, this place here, I had to call the host when I got here because she, um, they failed to give me the uh, itinerary. You're supposed to send that so you can get the actual unit number that you're going to be in, the actual check-in instructions, like how to actually get in and all those things that I did not receive. So I had to call, but, you know, thankfully she answered the phone and, um, walked me, talked me through it and stuff, and then, um, <laughs> sent the, the message, but, um, otherwise, you know, it's like trial and error, so that's it, enjoy the rest of the Okay, so thank you for sticking around to the end. I don't know if y'all can see, but that right there in the back, that's the that's Grady Hospital. So this is how close I am to it. So this is um, considered downtown. And um, so in most downtowns in big cities, you're gonna have, you know, a big homeless population and uh, <laughs> Atlanta is no different. Like, you know, in my earlier videos, y'all see that I, you know, mostly complaining about these homeless people. And um, so I wanna talk about like, how do you stay focused? Because usually we nurses are, you know, full of compassion. We wanna help everybody. How do you like not, cause I don't know how much money I've given, um, you know, when people ask for money and stuff, I, I um, passing out money and stuff. Like how do you, you know, set boundaries and get your limits, you know, make, make sure that you're not just, you know, being, a sucker <laughs> you know um you'll get blessed for it anyway it's good to help people 
but um, how to set boundaries and not um, just always be in nurse mode trying to help people. Like you have to put up some um, some roadblocks or some, you know, set some boundaries to make sure that, you know, you're still, you know, being a nurse and all that stuff, but you have to know how to turn it off when the time is necessary because you can't help everybody. And some of the people, you know, not all, but some of the people are um, homeless by choice, you know, because of their lifestyle or what have you. But anyway, um, and uh, <laughs> so uh, thank y'all for watching and um, leave some questions and comments. And I do have some personal questions that I've asked and maybe my next video will be like a Q&A on um, travel nurse and the pros and the cons, like, you know, um, getting to a new facility and like I said, like y'all see how big Grady is over there. Um, and getting one day, not even a whole day, but a few hours of orientation. And then all of a sudden, boom, you're expected to hit the floor and um, take patients to CT on vents. And I mean, just all kind of, you know, ridiculous stuff. So you have to learn how to set boundaries on that too, because, you know, it's still your license that you got to take care of even though you are traveling you're there to help you have to set boundaries because they'll you know try to give you stuff that's impossible or not safe you know it's like if I barely know how to get from the parking structure to the unit why would you send me with a patient on a ventilator and <laughs> a ventricular uh, I mean all kind of you know drips and um things to try and fi hopefully find my way to CT and fi no and if something goes bad um, I don't even know how to make a call for codes or any of that kind of stuff so you know um, yes you are expected to hop in there quick um, however you know you have to know your limits and what you're capable of so anyway, uh, thanks for sticking by. If you haven't already, like and subscribe and leave some comments. And we're going to talk some more about, um, I, I like this travel nursing <laughs> for now anyway. <laughs> Peace. Love ya.